My name is Gail Harvey. Uh, I'm representing Rhode Island now, but I'm also representing myself as a mother of twin daughters. Surprise, in the delivery room, there's another baby in there. And so in 1972, I would have killed for a doula. It was a very male-oriented experience. My husband picked up the Elizabeth Bing book to do natural childbirth the night my water broke. So I'm not making light of this. This is a very serious thing. And for some of you who have not gone through childbirth, but are perhaps parents, for a woman to go through this time, it's a very scary time. And I remember, uh, by the way, I have submitted written testimony. And this bill is so well written. Congratulations to the sponsors who are here today, uh, Senator Valverde and Senator Golden. So I, I'm not going to go into my testimony, but I think what you need to remember when you are considering this as a reimbursement for a medical treatment is how a woman feels when she's pregnant. It is probably, well, I have to say my own experience, about the loneliest time you can imagine. And I remember uh, being in the shower at seven months, not knowing I was having twins until I delivered them, saying, what in the world am I going to do? And who can I talk to? And who can I turn to? That's one of the things I think that's so important about this bill. Women need support during pregnancy. And this bill will enable many women of many different stratas in our society to get that support. The other thing I want to bring up is it seems when we're talking about expenses, whether we're talking about taxes or whatever that affect women's health, we only take the point of view of how we're being taxed or what it's going to cost to, the, to a period, to that period of the sentence. So when you're going to look at it, you're going to say, well, what is this going to cost? We have to reimburse doulas. What is this going to cost us? And then, then somebody will say, well, it's going to cost you this much. And then there's a period. We need to take that f sentence further and say, what is it going to cost us in the end run? And that's the important piece of information. So if we reimburse doulas, that means women will get low-cost health care that will not only support them in their pregnancies, but it will give them support throughout the whole pregnancy and after the baby's born. Because let me tell you, I delivered those children on Wednesday. I, my husband left Monday morning and commuted an hour and a half, and I was alone with two babies with nobody to support me. That was not fun. And I had nobody to call. And that, if you have wives, is very dangerous time for women, health-wise and, and mentally, to have that support. So by having doulas, you are cutting the cost of what it would be if I had to go to the emergency room because I had no health care, I had nobody to help me. You're cutting the cost of perhaps postpartum depression. So what is it going to cost? It's going to cost the health care companies less because I'm not using expensive services. And that's where the sentence needs to be extended. That you need to understand by this preventive, preventive measure, by having a doula help pregnant women in the three stages, it is going to cost insurance companies less. And that's, as I said, where the sentence needs to be extended. Please consider this. It is so important. It is such a fragile time in women's lives. Anything we could do to help them, to deliver healthy babies, to make sure the mothers are healthy is so important. And this, this bill actually states horrific statistics for black women and their death rate and the problems that they experience. So I really urge you, don't just consider what the cost of the reimbursement for doula is. Think about what the cost is down the line when I need more health care or more help in an emergency room or in an operation or because my child has died. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, Senator Valverde. Gail, I just want to thank you for your testimony. You know, as a, as a mom to two young kids who, you know, relatively recently went through two pregnancies, I remember very keenly that feeling of being, you know, alone and not knowing where to turn to. So those, 
your testimony really, really hit me. Thank you.